Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, January 4th. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. At the heart of your reading, we have the King of Candles. You're feeling fiery, you're feeling powerful and energetic, very motivated, very capable of achieving whatever it is you set your mind to. You're empowered, you're feeling bold and brave and courageous. Your challenge, we have the six and the seven of presents reversed. This is withdrawing in your investment because you're not seeing a return. There's no reciprocity here. It's like you're the only one putting in and you're not getting anything out. Not only that, no one else is putting anything in either. So it's like a lose-lose. Your focus is on win-win. You want to see, uh, you're focusing on the positive I think you're redirecting your attention toward um, what you want to invite into your life or the things that are working. Like this is um, figuring out common ground, how things interconnect, how things can work together, how you can interconnect things, like how you can take an active role in creating a bridge, creating common ground, and allowing things to work more smoothly together because of this integration that you can make happen. Let's see, in the recent past, we have a declaration of emotion. There was communication about how you feel about something, or someone else may have come to you and explained or described how they feel about something. The energy of the environment is death in reverse. There's an ending that needs to take place here. There are things that need to fade out of your life to make room for what's next. Um, and I think this this discussion that's had about feelings and the realization that, you know, there's some sort of lose-lose going on here where you're putting energy and investing into something. You're not seeing any reward on your investment. There's no yield on that. It's like you just... You keep throwing good energy after bad, to use the metaphor, like throw good money after bad. This is energetic investment. This page of potions in, in uh, your recent past may have been you telling your person or the people involved here that you feel that this is a, an imbalanced situation In the near future, we have the hanged man. This is a pause to reevaluate and study the situation better. There's an understanding that can be reached here, not necessarily for like um, resolving it. Yeah, I wasn't even asking for clarification, but spirit wanted to provide. Um, we have the six of potions clarifying the hanged of man, the hanged man. Six of potions reversed is a oh, removing the rose-colored glasses, seeing things clearly where you used to idealize them before. It's, it's coming into better clarity about the negatives of the situation. Let's see your surprise energy. What is going to influence the situation that Sagittarius is, does not see coming? You don't see the hidden opportunity here. Um, this is lining you up for a possibility that you can take hold of and grow into, they want me to say a fortune, okay? <laughs> it feels like a, like a good fortune of sorts. I don't like to stress um, like money readings as much, but it, that's the way that it wants to come out. This is an opportunity in order to um, improve your finances. Good fortune can come your way if you seize this opportunity when it presents itself. 
Let's see your hopes and fears. Let me just reassure you. I don't not want to tell you. It's not that I don't want to tell you about good money. It's just that I know a lot of people who, who watch um, YouTube tarot videos are intently focused on, you know, just tell me I'm going to receive a lot of money. And I'm just, I'm not going to say that if I don't see it. Do you know what I mean? I'm more focused on like the, the energetic meaning behind it and helping you improve your, your spiritual health. Um, so that's just to explain what I was meaning there by the, I don't want to talk just about finances. Let's see your hopes and fears. Five, five, five on the timer for those numerology geeks out there like me. Your hopes and fears is you sense a, a possibility for real closure here. So you can put something behind you in a major way to pave the way for, for new energy to come in its place. This is, uh, it's giving me a good indication that you will be able to recognize and seize this opportunity because you're already lining yourself up to uh, partner with that out with the old energy. You're on board with wrapping up a chapter here. And I mean, this this death energy is is the universe through your environment nudging you in that direction. So you're you are well partnered with universal spiritual energy. Let's see your end result. We have the king of needles. This is this uh, deeper understanding that you'll be looking for through that near future, the hanged man energy wanting to decipher and study and analyze the situation, you will glean the wisdom that you're meant to or that you're seeking. Um, this is a an ability to understand the needs of a situation because of the experience you've been through. It's like the wisdom gleaned through experience. It's, it's positioning you for what comes next. You'll be much more well prepared and well informed because of the experience you're going through right now. Your advice, we have the five of potions and the fool. This is the what the, the energy that comes directly after the world. It's like after you complete one cycle, you make room for the new. The fool is the the very first major arcana card. It represents um, starting a new journey, taking that leap of faith. Partnering with the Five of Potions energy, this tells me that you will dive into a state of being where you address your losses in the moment, where you can more readily um, move through emotional situations rather than... Um, because, you know, life hands us ups and downs, right? We're going to enjoy some things. We're not going to enjoy other things. Some things are going to please us. Other things are going to hurt us. So what this is saying is you may have in the past wanted to breeze over things that were sad, but that led you to um, like burying those emotions and it didn't... Uh, it, it would maybe fester or maybe cause problems down the line. This is saying your new approach, emotionally speaking, as you encounter new things that make you sad or when you experience loss, you will be more well prepared to, to know how you feel in the moment and process it so that you can refocus on the two potions that are still in the upright rather than the ones who, that have spilled. In this card, there are three that have spilled and the character is, is mourning the loss of what's spilled. Inherent in the meaning here is that there's still a lot of positivity. There's still a lot going for you. And if you, if you remain stuck in the energy of what you've lost, you can't see what you still have positive in your life. And it's all about that perspective shift, seeing things in a new way. As you move forward in your life on this new journey, I, I'm sensing that the advice here is um, address those feelings as they come up. 
I'm not saying you have to know in the very minute that it happens how you feel about it and move past it. But rather than, you know, uh, sweeping anything under the rug to be never dealt with, it's saying you will deal with things in a more healthy way and that you can pivot much more quickly out of something that made you sad to refocus on things that make you happy. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.